So this week I was doing a training for a pretty large global organization. And one of the questions I got was, can we add drop-down styles in CK Editor for Drupal 8 or 9 so that junior editors don't have to actually go into the code and monkey around with styles and class definitions? Well, of course, the answer is <laughs> gotcha. Yes, the answer is yes, we can do that. And it's actually really simple. Welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name is Rod Martin. And in this video, I'm going to show you just how to do that. Let's dive in. All right, well, you've probably been there before. Head over to Configuration, Content Authoring, Text Formats, and Editors. We touched on this in our Drupal 9 Explain class. I'm going to update CK Editor here. Click Configure. There are several steps here. Step number one is grab the Styles button from the Available Styles area. It might not be in exactly that position, but it should be there somewhere. And click and drag it down and drop it really wherever you want, but I'm going to put it next to Format. That kind of makes sense to me. You'll now see a Styles drop-down under the CK Editor plugin settings. And from here, all you do is enter the styles, one per line. So I'm going to add a couple in. This is a.button. That's the class, and it's going to be a big button. And h2.huge, that's the class name. It's going to be very large text. So it's as simple as that. Literally just add the styles you want to add in the order you want here in this window and click Save Configuration. This works for both basic HTML and full HTML or any other format you might want to add. All right, I'm going to head over to Content, Add Content and Article. And there's my Styles dropdown. I have block styles and very large. If I put some text in here and just highlight it, then I can choose that very large text style that I entered earlier. If I made this into a link, then I have the ability to use my big button style. And you'll note one's an object style and one's a block style. Assuming I add the CSS to make this into a button, well then when I click Save and go and view it, it's going to be a button. I can do that one of two ways, by adding the CSS directly into the theme, if I'm using a sub-theme, or to use something like Acid Injector and inject the CSS that way. We've done other tutorials on both of those at OS Training. Well, as usual, Drupal gives us pretty much everything we need to do whatever we want. In this case, add some styles from our CSS in a drop-down menu so an editor doesn't have to go into the code in order to implement those styles. Well, thanks so much for watching. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It would really help us out. We'd appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.